you're probably all wondering, what am I doing sitting out in the woods at a picnic table with a paper bag that looks like a backpack and all kinds of other junk? Well, there's, a, there's an explanation, a method to, the, to my madness. I wanted to tell you all about uh, a little project I'm going to be starting. <clears throat> in fact, I already have started it uh, in the beginning phases. Uh, this is a conceptual mock-up of a backpack that I plan to make. Uh, <laughs> yes siree. I bought a sewing machine uh, earlier this year, back in the, in the early summer, like, and uh, I'm going to make me a backpack. For the longest time, for uh, several years, I've had this idea in the back of my head. I've been inspired by uh, various uh, bushcraft channels that I watch on YouTube, although I don't consider myself a bushcrafter by any st stretch of the imagination. I am inspired by some of the things they do and uh, the things they make. I'm sure a love of the outdoors, but uh, I've been gathering and saving materials even before I purchased a, a sewing machine, gathering and saving materials for the purpose of uh, reusing, recycling, eventually uh, using them for projects. And I've, I've got acquired uh, a bit of a stash and I've made a few projects already. All this stuff here uh, is my uh, sum total of, of uh, create creativity with the sewing machine so far. Anyway, uh, I'll get on the other side of the camera and uh, show you what I got, what I'm going to do. Well, we'll start off with the, uh, with the sewing projects that I've completed so far. Uh, these here are um, amongst my first projects, uh, and they're all, they're all made from uh, recycled and repurposed material. Uh, stuff that I've, I've literally found on the roadside and in the trash. These two little uh, packs or uh, stuff sacks, whatever you want to call them here. I made these from uh, some coated polyurethane that came from a folding camp chair. A Velcro flap on that one. I'm hauling all my camera gear and batteries in there today. This is a sack I made, uh, showed in my previous video, kayaking on the on the Huron. A sack I made for my uh, cast iron fry pan to, to keep it uh, keep the soot and stuff from soiling my pack. Again, coated polyurethane from an old uh, camp chair. This is a seat cushion I made. Again, from a camp chair, this material, uh, I driving down the road one day, it was trash day, somebody had a broken camp chair out, slammed on the brakes, threw her into reverse, and uh, grabbed the camp chair. So uh, Alps Mountaineering, I preserved the logo from the camp chair in my seat cushion there. Uh, uh, the edge tape that came from the chair, I made a loop out of the edge tape. It's stuffed with, uh, you can see it's nice and thick. It's stuffed with uh, uh, cotton batting that came from uh, packing material from, uh, what do you call that, Blue Apron or one of those companies that sends you all the uh, ingredients for a meal. And uh, <laughs> it says packing material, insulation. So now I have a nice cushy, uh, sit pad. Here's a little stuff sack I made for my alcohol stove. Made from a uh, a child's uh, back sack that I found discarded along the trail in Kensington Park. It had a it had a tear in it, and somebody just left it there, discarded it. I grabbed it up. I said, "Hey, man, I can use that for something." And sure enough, here it is. Uh, this, I did not make this. This is my haversack that I use. But I did make a shoulder pad for it. 
uh, out of some uh, canvas material. I bought a pair of jeans that were too long, canvas jeans, too long, and I cut the uh, cuffs off the pants, leftover material. I made this uh, shoulder pad. The strap is kind of thin and uh, had a tendency to cut into my shoulder and, and be uncomfortable. Anyway, so getting getting on to the uh, backpack that I want to make. I'm going to move around so that we're not in the shadow here. This is a, even though it says U.S. on there, that's just some decoration I put on. This is a Finnish, surplus Finnish Army gas uh, mask bag. I bought it at Joe's Army Navy a couple years ago, and it makes, it makes an awesome haversack. Uh, it's got uh, pockets inside covered with a flap I can keep all kinds of little uh, possibles in there like and uh, I sewed in I sewed in a uh, a sleeve in here to hold my water bottle it's you can't see that it's all in the shadow down there I made that sleeve split the seams apart and tucked a piece of material in there and then seamed it back up so now I have a sleeve to hold my water bottle but anyway you can see Although this pack is handy, it's uh, it gets pretty full when I go out in the wintertime, especially when I want to take like hot chocolate and my lunch along with me, my alcohol stove, extra hat, gloves, socks, that kind of stuff. Man, I need a backpack, a rucksack. So this is my uh, design concept mock-up right here, my first one. It looks kind of crude, but you got to work out the pattern and the proportions. Now I do have, I do have two day packs, and actually both of them are probably a little bigger, carry a little more than that. But I don't really care for them. The one thing that bothers me about them is that uh, they don't have a flat bottom. See, how I'm going to build a flat bottom on this one. It's like a grocery sack with straps, but the packs I have don't have a flat bottom. So consequently, when you set them down to load them, uh, they flop all over the place. And I, it just, it bugs the crap out of me. So I was, I'm gonna do something about that. And uh, just started designing this just out of my head, basically. And uh, I got it this far, the conceptual mock-up, and I decided it looked kind of goofy. <laughs> it looked kind of goofy. Uh, I didn't like the top, but I didn't like this the way the top closed. Uh, I didn't know how that was going to work. It, it, of course, it's windy here today. This was going to collapse, you know. So it's like I can do better than that. And I, I got on the web and started searching for... Uh, bushcraft uh, rucksacks and I got a whole bunch of inspiration there's a lot of uh, cottage industries guys that are sewing uh, rucksacks to order you know in their garage basement or or whatever a, a, a storefront that they rent someplace and they have some some really good product and uh, I looked at a lot of that stuff for inspiration uh, there's a lot of uh, like uh, bushcraft videos that uh, you know people show their pack and their loadout and everything so lots of inspiration there uh, the biggest inspiration I got was uh, I found a pack I really like sold by L.L. Bean it's, it's a uh, waxed cotton canvas pack with leather with a leather bottom leather accents uh, nice pockets on the sides and back. You notice this one doesn't have any pockets. And uh, so I've changed my design and uh, I'm working on, an, on another design right now. Here's a sketch. I don't know how that, uh, I guess that'll, that comes up pretty good. 
but you can see I've added pockets on the sides and uh, I've kind of changed the design of the top here uh, with the buckles I'm gonna have a drawstring closure on the top of the pack so I can I can cinch that closed and then draw this flap down over it and actually when it's closed it'll probably come down a little a little more like that you know it won't be so flat on top and uh, I've worked out uh, some designs I'm gonna make some uh, toggle closures rather than buckles or velcro or anything like that I'm gonna make uh, toggle closures uh, with some elastic shock cord I'm gonna have some D rings on the bottom so if, if I want to uh, strap something onto the bottom I can like a like a blanket roll or something it doesn't show here but I'm actually gonna add uh, some uh, strap attachment point here so I can you know hang something from the side of it like a hatchet or your hiking poles or something uh, I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> I've ordered some of the material already. I've done some uh, experimental sewing to see if I'm up to the task. Uh, if my machine's up to the task, I think I can do it. It's probably going to take me most of the winter, but uh, I plan to I plan to make a series of videos along the way and uh, share my share my journey with you. So stay tuned. I mentioned that. Uh, I've been collecting materials, found materials, repurposed materials. I'm always finding stuff. Every time I'm out hiking, well, today, while I was here on site, I, I looked down amongst the uh, oak leaves and I, I saw this little piece of strap ribbon here. It actually, it looks like a, a, a blousing tape from a, from a pair of, uh, of uh, BDU pants. Uh, anyway, that's going to be part of my pack right there. Uh, that I'm going to sew a, uh, a snap hook on one end and I'm going to sew that into a seam someplace and that's going to be uh, a key a key snap uh, what do you want to call it a tether a leash for your car keys when you when you go out in the woods so you don't lose your keys you snap them in your pack and they're in there secure so that's that's how I work that's how I roll <laughs> uh.